Welcome back, my fellow Geminis. I'm just pre-shuffling. Queen of Swords is out, Venusian energy. It's time to speak your truth, Gemini. We're going to continue, I feel, this reading. It's going deeper in, so it could have been that that timeline needed to be cut down because you're breaking down timelines right now, Gemini, as Mercury goes deep within Scorpio. Let's begin your general collective message. Hello, I hope all is well with you, Geminis. I love you much is. I am a fellow Gemini. So Gemini, we're in our full glory and power right now with the truth. People are not going to like it, Gemini. You are going to, like I feel, Gemini, your light is going to irritate a lot of unhealed people. Queen of Swords. Very Venusian. As Venus also goes with you in the descent to Scorpio. You also have Juno in there right now until I believe the 17th. So it's going to light up like I feel the truth. And dirty laundry coming out. I got a specific Gemini here. Okay, you're someone here, Gemini, who is in a divorce, a separation here. You're coming up queen of swords. So some of my Geminis, whether you're a man or a woman here, okay, it feels like you have had your heart broken from this person that's trying to come up against you, right? So there's a sense of somebody here that has been abusing their power over you for a very long time. See, so connection. Two of cups, right, that wants to come out. So this is, like I feel you had a partnership, and it's like four of cups. You don't own me, right? Just like that song says, you don't own me, and I don't give a F-U-C-K. I don't give a fuck, right? And if that's the way it's going to be said, it's going to be said. It's like, bye-bye, right? Hasta la vista energy here. Four of Cups, full card. This is the energy of Mars and Aries that starts this new opportunity, a new beginning, Gemini. A big perk that's about to take off for you, Gemini. We're going to see what the soulmate connection could be, right? I feel there's a deeper so connection that's coming towards you, Gemini. You don't see this coming right now. Four of Cups. You could be like, I feel restless. You could be like, I feel trying to recuperate after or recharging. It's like a number four, right? Feeling emotionally drained. Not anymore, Gemini. Not anymore. Things begin a sudden breakthrough. You're breaking free, Gemini, from someone here, okay, that abused you, okay, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. Drop those burdens, right? They're only sticks, right? Ten of Wands, Four of Cups. So it feels like, Gemini, you've been in a battle here with this person. There's been a spiritual battle. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's shuffle. See, Three of Wands, Four of, of Cups. You don't even see anything coming in that looks good right now. You could be feeling a bit cold, detached, right? Or angry because somebody here is, as I feel, pointing fingers, Gemini, at you, okay? So I feel this is like, all right, I got to bring the, the sword of truth out now because people be confused. Seven of Cups, Pisces, and Neptune, right? This is temporary, Gemini, Seven of Cups, okay? So right now, you're not interested in love. You're cutting off a connection, I feel. Seven of Cups with the Four of Cups, it's like, nah, not interested, been there, done that with this person. Someone that was keeping, okay, could have options, right? It feels like those cups have poured out already. See, Libra season, Venus and Libra. Okay, we have uh, Vedic astrology. It feels like we're still in Libra energy, which we are according to Vedic astrology. Libra energy is the energy of elevation, right? Karma, right? Chapters that have closed out now, Gemini. Karmic situations done. It's like the song goes here. You don't own me, right? Don't tell me what to say or where to go. You don't own me, right? It's like fuck off kind of an energy. Page of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck. So this is what I'm saying. So this is new, fresh love. This is something exciting. This is having an outgoing attitude. It's like, that's the way I'm going. It's like, fuck everybody. Excuse my language. We have, a, we have a high energetic of Venus going into Scorpio. That's where it's at right now, whether you're a man or a woman. It's like, nope, you're being redirected, Gemini, okay? 
So let's see what this card is. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, On Guard, Putting Up Your Blocks. That's right, block these people out, Gemini. Because whatever this is, like I felt a battle with the Nine of Wands. Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Who's worrying now? Because I don't feel it's you. Like I said yesterday, you're not a worrier. You're a warrior. So you turned your back on this love offer. And now this person here is stressed out. Okay? Knight of Cups, right? They want to come in with that love language now, right? And it feels like this is somebody here that definitely pissed you off. Then they try to come in and try to be on your good side. That's kind of like where I'm, I'm picturing so this could be a new lover, someone that you started dating recently for some of you, okay? Some of you. What is this message for Gemini? What's Gemini's overall energy? I feel your overall is queen of swords. It says it all. Uh, that's your first priority. Eight of pentacles. This is your first priority. Focus, detailed here. It's all about the quality, Gemini. It's not about the quantity here with you. Eight of pentacles, it's like turn... Your mental energy, that clock off with the Queen of Swords. It's like you're looking past the soul connection. You're not focused on it right now. You're focused on your success in your career. You're very detailed. You're very rich. You're becoming a master, Gemini. This is the master builder energy. Say it's time to go, chariot. So the chariot is here, driven passionate stops for nothing you're ambitious now and you're bold so you're making a very bold decision gemini you're starting your own business for some of you i applaud you that's right this is the year to use the heavens the energy around us and to use that valuable energy and to start that day-to-day -day, what we're building on our craft the knight of pentacles right Follow the routine, relax, slow down, slow down, Gemini, right? This is like if you're driving real fast, please slow down, okay? Because Jupiter's here, it will automatically expand and bring in good luck and good fortune. It's here. It's blessing you in your career sector, Gemini, right? So there's going to be a perk that's going to come in from out of nowhere. You might not be seeing this perk, Gemini, but it's going to be that boost that you're going to get in your career sector where you're shining right now. So this energy deck with the Queen of Swords, okay, it's about, it rules communication coming into alignment, Gemini, okay, with a very potent energy, very Venusian, so Venus. And it also has Jupiter, Sagittarius here, and Cancerian. You could have any of these placements. This opportunity is going to arrive, Gemini. And the energy is going to gain momentum. You're going to start seeing wherever focus goes, energy flows. Okay? So all that good energy that you have, Gemini, that you're giving. You're somebody here who's a speaker. You're a teacher. You're a light worker, Gemini. Okay? Like I feel, you're being crowned, right? So you are channeling in the divine truth here. Okay? You're a channel. It's like, don't shoot me. I'm the messenger. I did hear about, um, what's his, Kai, what's his name? Kai, gosh, you know who I'm talking, Kyan West. Speaking his truth and got to say what he got to say, right? So the Queen of Swords is a feeling here of, that's where you are. And it means Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something here. Could have been eight years, right? Three of Cups, Emperor, Energy, Page of Swords. There was a third party situation here for some of you. You were in a contract or a marriage with someone here. It could be Mars and Aries or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. Now I see the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Emperor. There's somebody else here. Let's see. What happened in the past? Show me the past situation for Gemini. That's Mars moving in, Gemini. Mars has already moved in. So make space for Mars, right? So Mars is going to have you being on the go, 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 go when it comes to your business, especially with the chariot energy, right? Mars is going to have you on this go, go energy. What did I have written down for you? I just did this with your, with your energy yesterday that was coming in. It's still the same kind of an energy that I'm getting. Um, a very uh, big promotion, wealth, success, a new contract that's here. Okay, and you're very curious about it, Gemini. I feel this Eight of Cups is you walking right into some celebration. 
This is like, yes, I did it. Champagne toast, right? Celebrating your worldly success now, Gemini. That's what I feel. I feel that with that page of swords, okay, energy here, right? And the emperor, Mars in Gemini now going retrograde. It is time for you to stick your finger in every piece of pie right now, okay? So it feels like with the page of swords, is that's who you are. It is natural. Our natural abilities, our natural talents are coming out right now. You're curious as a, as a cat here. So it feels like you have many different interests, Gemini, okay? And always love to be on that go-go energy here. Your activities... You're probably already tried at least everything once, Gemini, right? Self-mastery. So it feels like you're admired, okay, by others here for your work that you're putting out into the collective, okay? For some of you, I feel that you are, like I feel, you work alone, okay? You're an alpha, right? In the past moon, the eclipse gateway opened up for you on the 25th here. Lighting up a new contract, okay, with the moon card. Uh, Cancerian Gemini here, I have. This is, I feel, something here about the secrets that were exposed. Knight of Cups, there he is. So there was somebody here that was very shady, Scorpio. Someone that was refusing to change. Someone here that was unable to change, right? You had a connection with love, a romantic uh, encounter in the past here. Could be with a heavy Scorpio, a heavy Pisces, or a Cancerian. Now, the water signs are going to benefit from this energy. This is someone, Gemini, that I felt with the moon card. That's why you're coming up, Queen of Swords. You've already, like I feel, you turned this person down. They, you've cut them off. You blocked them, right? So the connection is severed, right? It's ended. This is somebody here in the past with the moon that I feel you saw right through this person. They had deep secrets here. You saw this person that they were untrustworthy. You saw them for who they truly are. Mask fall down. Scorpio season. So like I feel with Scorpio being in Mercury, like the last week or two, you found out a lot of shit, Gemini. A lot came up to the surface. Um, you saw the true colors in this situation here. And it changed you. You're like, no, not interested. You don't own me. You can't tell me what to do. Because this person is unable to move on. They're unable to change. This is someone who, like I feel during the Scorpio gateway, is under extreme anxiety, okay? This is someone who's refusing to change. They're stuck on their old past ways here, okay? So this could be very sensitive, Gemini. Somebody here, I feel gaslit you. You were gaslit by this person in the past. <coughs> somebody here that you did not make progress with see and the moon card gemini is going to bring up a lot of jealousy envious haters these are your enemies gemini and they're going to be coming in from the cracks in the woods so like i say it looks like you don't give a fuck right gemini and this five of wands are people who are ignorant petty okay you know ignorance is expensive when you're not open and optimistic to learn, right? So this five of wands is people here, Ge Gemini. Look, you see right through them. And look how jealous they are, Gemini, because this is where you are. You're a star. You're a movie star. You're meant to be a movie star. You're meant to be in the limelight. You're meant to see, be seen, Gemini, for the truth of who you are, to shine bright like a star seed. You're a sovereign light being, multifaceted, Gemini, okay? So what the star card is, like I feel... You're seen definitely on a on a platform here, okay? And like I feel, these people are very curious about you here, okay? These people with the five of wands, I feel, are people that are, let, there's like people that are talking dirty little lies, dirty little secret, dirty little laundry that wants to come out about you because you're being real. You're a light worker, okay? You're someone here that I feel with the star seed energy, like I feel, I don't want to miss anything here. You're a teacher, you're uh, someone who expresses the truth, okay? The knowledge that you have. This is also people here that are stuck with mind control, false programming, five of wands, who are internally conflicted here, okay? In a situation. You do have an Aquarius, one of these people, I feel, or a Scorpio here that was definitely talking behind your back. 
dirty little lies, right? It's like, I don't give a, I don't give a, I don't give a, that kind of energy where you're at. What's coming in the near future? I feel you're, you're refusing to deal with these ignorant people. You could have up to four people here, Gemini, that are jealous of you. It feels like several. See, nine of cups, you're sitting pretty. You're, you're in wish fulfillment. You know that this dream project is your dream project. So focus, 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 Gemini, on the dream project. These people are coming up out of the woods because, like I feel, this blood moon that's coming in on the November the 8th, lunar eclipse in Taurus energy is the goddess energy. It's the feminine rising, okay? The divine feminine. And it's going to be healing, like I feel, see, Mercury. Mercury descends into Scorpio, Gemini. You've manifested. You've earned every bit of reward that's coming in. Nine of Cups. Your wishes are coming true. So, Gemini, with the magician energy, that's you. You could have Virgo in your chart or be dealing with another Gemini or another Virgo here. It's like, you don't own me. Don't tell me what to do, right? Magician energy, Nine of Cups. You're looking good, Gemini, right? These people here try to persecute you, demonize you, suppress you. It's not, you can't deny it. It's like, it's not denied. These people here, it's like when they want to talk, Gemini, you're going to use logic and you're going to go ahead. And like, I feel, think before you speak. Think before you speak. Because Ten of Pentacles, like I feel, Gemini, success. You are being in your glory in Scorpio season. Your ruling power and glory is to manifest. It's like you have chosen. I am like you're chosen. You're chosen, Gemini. I am successful, right? I am worthy to receive. And so it is. Great abundance comes to me easily, right? So Gemini, Ten of Pentacles, you're working on and you will receive this energy that's coming in. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Look at the people, Gemini, who want to, these people, let me stop by saying, you got fed up in a situation with these people that you walked away. You broke attachments, okay, five of swords. But these people want revenge, Gemini, because they're jealous that you and your children and your family and your family bloodlines are successful. You are all meant in your family bloodlines to be rich, successful, happy, fortunate, See, three generations of bloodlines here, okay? Energy, where the five of swords is you got people here that want blood, basically. Someone here is extremely jealous. Be careful because someone could be coming in here, okay, wanting a piece of the pie that you have. And they did nothing here to bring this piece of pie in. You did it all on your own, Gemini, okay? So like I feel, let's see what the challenge could be here, okay? You're breaking free. Independence is here, right? Freedom. Because you're, refused, you're refusing to settle, Gemini, Queen of Swords. So the universe heard you and it says, I'm done. You're like Gemini. I'm, you're saying to the universe, I'm done with the past. I'm done with these people, right? See, done. So the the... This is where you're winning, Gemini, where you're being tested. The five of pentacles is the challenge. So you're recovering, Gemini, from a spiritual poverty. This is like I feel a scarcity mindset. Look where you're going, Gemini, because you left the table with people, okay, who like to gossip and just gossip and talk about jealousy and judge everybody else. You went away from it. By cutting away and detaching from this energy here, or if you faced a financial loss or a sense of a spiritual uh, loss here, okay, of something here, you have a recovery. The challenge was there's a, there's a blessing. So Ten of Pentacles, unexpected money coming to you, Gemini. You move from a five to a ten. That lets me know whatever this judgment was here in the past here, somebody here is broke. Somebody here is broken. They're experiencing a fall from grace. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this person sees you rising up, sees you facing stardom, sees, sees you successful. And you're like, that's why it's like, you don't owe this person nothing, Gemini. You're breaking free, independent, queen of swords. See, 
because a golden opportunity, this person was trying to block for you. This person, I felt, was coming in with a lack mindset, projecting all of their energy onto you, Gemini, blaming you, right? And it feels like with the five to the ace of pentacles, that's the challenge. This person was planning on sabotaging your good fortune. There's the ace of coins, see? Why is it in the position of what the challenge is? Look, three of swords. You have a third party situation where you were abused verbally, mentally, I feel, and physically in a situation, fives, right? So for some of you here, you could have children with this person. For some of you, I feel there could be a custody case with your children. We'll see because I'm feeling something here where this person was trying to rob you, right? I'm feeling a sense of leaving you cold out, wanted like I feel. This was somebody who kicked you when you were down, okay? And now, like I feel, the song Dirty Money is still very relevant. Where is the words? Yeah, Dirty Laundry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm hearing Dirty Money. Somebody here had done something dirty for money that wasn't, I don't feel that that's you, Gemini. Somebody here did something dirty for money and they lost out on an opportunity of a lifetime because they didn't make plans to, to release and let go of something that was toxic. They resisting the change. They resisted this opportunity, a golden opportunity. They resisted it. It was a third party that interfered. It could be a family member, an ex, a toxic, a karmic. Somebody interfered, Gemini. That's what happened. Because in the past with the moon, the Knight of Cups, the death card, you were trying to heal and recover a situation, okay? Family interfered with this situation. Look at this, temperance and chariot. So somebody here ditched the healing process, okay? Missed out on a golden opportunity with you to be abundant. It's your family heritage, right? Family heritage, abundant, established, and they hurt their own self because this is somebody here that refused to throw the towel and they always want to fight, 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 right? So they kicked you when you were down, Gemini. They couldn't just leave well enough alone, okay? This is somebody here who couldn't face their shadow side. One more for the challenge. Empress, mother, child, you, they kicked you when you were down. Gemini, you have Venus in your chart or Taurus or Libra. Your person was somebody here who took advantage of the earth angel, the empress, the sovereign, the feminine, the divine, right? And now... There was a creative block, Gemini. This contract or whatever they did here, manipulation, okay, was somebody who was trying to block your abundance. So be careful, Gemini, with this person. This could be your ex. This could be somebody that's around you that was trying to block your success because they see the value in you, Gemini, okay? For some of you, you have a child with this person or children with this person. That situation, I feel there'll be no honor because this person, I feel, is somebody who is using a child as a pawn, a puppet, okay? So I felt whatever this is here, this was the creative block and you're realizing that when you dive deep within to Scorpio, where the blocks are. So it's time to heal the emotional body, Gemini. The emotional Venus embodies the essence of abundance, rebirth, renewal, okay? So this is where the purge is going to be happening, Gemini, because this is somebody, look, look, look at the people that were backstabbing, smiling in your face, backstabbing you, backstabbing you, one betrayal after the next. This was a trauma wound, trauma wound, 10 years here of being, what did I say? Kick you, kick you when you're down. They were kicking you when you were down, okay? This was somebody here, like I feel, that Ten of Swords energy was chaotic. This person was using hurtful, reckless words, lashing out at you very much. It's, it's a lot of hatred and jealousy because you're gorgeous, man or woman. You're gorgeous from the inside out. 
your natural beauty, man or a woman. It's the energy of the filling here of, wow, look at this, nine of wands. See? So there was a spiritual a war with this person and the family. Five of Pentacles. This is somebody who I feel got thrown out. Somebody threw out a mother. Somebody threw out a relative. Somebody was thrown out of a situation here. Made feeling like an outcast here, right? So what's the advice? Ace of Swords, tell the truth. There's confusion. There's a lack of clarity. There's something you're not seeing, Gemini. The Ace of Swords is in reverse here. I feel you're clearing the air. You're definitely clearing the air. So, Gemini, this is like I feel the energy. I, was, I kept on hearing Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. You were slaughtered. You were, you were persecuted, Gemini, like I'm saying here. And with the Ace of Swords, there were dirty little lies, dirty little secrets that were said about you here that were untrue. There was no truth or clarity to what this truth was. So people were talking behind your back. Judgment, karma's a bitch, right? So it feels like no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Gemini, protect yourself. Yes, you already know, my loves, that you have a lot of jealousy, envious people around you. Spirit's here to transform that. So get aligned with your self-value, Gemini. You're having a rebirth, a renewal right now while you dive deep into Scorpio to support this truth, this truth. Because I feel that this is an energy of start using loving, lovingly words of truth when you speak, Gemini, your advice. To do the I am affirmations that I am supported. I am protected, divinely protected from all types of harm. And so it is. Right? Because you were, you were, you were around verbal abuse here. Verbal aggression. Verbal attacks. Okay? And like I feel right now, there's going to be a transformation with your self-worth and your values, right? So like I feel chosen one, you're chosen, you're highly favored. And so it is. Why am I here? Look, look, no truths, devil energy. Somebody here is the pawn of the devil, right? Toxic, abusive energy, no weapon formed against me or my loved ones or my children or my family shall prosper, says the Lord bloodlines so i felt gemini this is time for like i felt back to black you cannot hide the truth it's in black and white i'm going to reverse this so that the truth gets um out there okay about the situation because no more being undercover the skeletons in the closets are about to come out dirty laundry dirty laundry is what i feel so i'm going to keep it in that place but you do have there could be a capricorn of significance See, five of cups, because hurt people hurt others. Hurt people hurt people, five of cups. This was someone that was trying to stick a dagger in your back. They were trying to hurt you, Gemini, because they see that you're like a sergeant. Yeah, Gemini, I bet you were called a sergeant, Miss Know-it-all, right? No, those who think that they're Miss Know-it-all, then you have nothing to learn in life, right? You're perfect. So this is somebody that really hated you behind your back, Gemini. You got critics and haters that are behind your back. Trust me, God sees everything that's going on here. And this, like I feel, is going to be able to give me one more card. Mars and Aries, you have a specific Aries that's around you here. Someone that could be a masculine energy, a father figure, someone who's a man, right? Page of Pentacles, not her regretting it, not her coming in with an apology. I don't feel that you're going to get a true apology from this person, but they might be reaching out and giving you a message, right, Gemini? It's like, you're crazy, they're telling you. You're crazy, right? Who's crazy now? There's the Empress and the Emperor. For some of you, if you label uh, Twin Flame, it is. For some of you, Two of Cups. What's the outcome? Three of Pentacles. Your work life, Gemini, is valuable right now. What you're creating. Knight of Swords. Damn. Air, Earth. A lot of Earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Ten of Cups. So see what I'm saying, Gemini? There's a sense of somebody's rushing back in. They could be wanting money from you. Okay? Three of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. 
you're looking this way. You're taking your day-to-day -day and you're working on yourself. Self-care, self-love, baby, right? And three of pentacles. That's where the perk's coming and this is what's going to make you happy. This opportunity, Gemini, is a golden opportunity that's coming in. Three of pentacles. Knight of swords. Don't move too quickly through it, right? Make sure you read between the line because Mars is going retrograde, Gemini, in your sign. It already starts today. Mars goes retrograde today on the 30th of October for the next three months. Make sure that you're reading between the lines. Make sure, Gemini, that you're not getting just half truth. Make sure you're getting the whole truth and nothing but the truth because that's what you're doing. You're like, fuck it, right? You don't own me. Somebody here thinks that they possess you, that they own you, or that you owe them something, right? So like I felt, you don't owe them nothing. This devil energy is stuck, right? Because you were the one, Gemini, that was offering all the healing, all the love, the support, Queen of Cups. So this is that access that I felt, Cancerian North Node and South Node Capricorn. For some of you, you got a Capricorn access with Cancer, okay, in your chart. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. This devil can't go nowhere now. So this devil is an energy of somebody here that's in bondage because they refuse to give up their, their, their bad behavior, toxic behavior, okay? So the Ten of Cups is Gemini. You were somebody who was stuck in a connection with this person, okay? You've been closed off, Queen of Cups here. This is somebody who makes you feel emotionally like this little, right? They want to belittle you when really... That's the energy. This is because this person feels like a piece of shit. So they're going to go ahead and project that onto you. Do you see what I'm saying? This is your family and your children, Gemini. Do not get yourself stuck in the Eight of Swords here, trapped in a connection, okay? Be aware of this connection, Five of Swords. I feel that your happiness, Gemini, that's coming in, okay, Towards this season, the next three weeks of Scorpio season, okay, you're going to realize that this is not a wall, a gate, okay, in a community that you're stuck in or a family dynamic. Needing to break out of this situation. Break free from disconnection, okay? And it feels like five of swords, six of swords. It's like hasta la vista, bye-bye, right? For some of you, you're clearing the air. And six of so swords is... Moving on, relocating. This is where healing begins. I'm going to have to leave the reading there. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next.